Hi there, my name is Potmos and welcome to yet another episode with my foundation game. And well, here's just a little view of our big church we've been building. A bit of the market square. I think it looks nice. But let's get on top of things. What were we doing? Well, we were building our economy. And why is that important? Well, as you can see right now, we are losing quite a bit of money. What's the problem? Well, we are buying a lot of stuff because we are buying a lot of tools for all the buildings we are making. So that's why we also need to trade a lot. And that was what we were working on. We were going to make sure that we have enough goods to sell. Now we got new villagers in town. And well, here's our job list where we can see all the places we can put them in. So let me check how many free villagers we actually have, which is three, and how many jobs we have available. Well, we can make two people a miller, for instance. Or probably, yeah, I already did one, I guess. Yes. So we'll just need to do one more. We still have two people free. And we're going to put them into the granary. So we have a farm, which is fully operational. We just need to get to the sewing phase. We have a windmill, fully operational. Just need rain. And of course we need flour for the baker. But that'll all come. So that's done. And I hope that this guy in the lumber camp will work. So we can add an extra farm. Well, at least we can already add the farm. There's no real downside to doing that. And uh, with that extra farm, we get quite a lot of extra grain, which we can use. Because, well, since there's the grain will only grow in a certain season, and once you have harvested it, there's no immediately new supply. It's very good to have two farms, so you have a bigger stockpile of grain, and your baker and miller can work longer on baking all the bread. Which will make the bread production much higher with just one simple extra farm. So... Our economy is working once we are not buying stuff. As you can see, our income is bigger than the cost, so we already make money. And we make some extra money with our trade. So let's continue with that. We have quite a bit of money anyway. And what I want to do next is keep working on the economy and at the same time start our way up to these big mountains. So we can, for instance, get iron and start making our own tools. Which is quite an expensive thing to do, but... In the end, it's worth it. Especially if you look at the trade screen. You can sell twos for 10 coins, which is quite kind of nice. I like that. That's a good amount. Ooh, we have promotions available. Well, we're not going to do too many. We don't have any soldiers to promote. So I'm just going to promote a few of these guys. They will start working on getting to a nice house. This is it for now. So we'll have to build a few houses. And that's probably it, which is good means our people can be occupied with other things. Now, we have almost five fully trained soldiers. Once we have them, I'll send them on a mission. Let's hope they will bring in nice amounts of money. Now, what we can do next is we don't have a very big treasury. I want a bigger treasury. One of the things you can do is just build yourself a new house or expand this one. So we can either expand this one and well, as you can see, it makes the area light up a bit more. The desirability goes up. So if we expand this one, we can increase the desirable area. But what we can also do is build one here, for instance. So this area will be more likable or do it right here. As you can see, if we click where people want to live, they want to live around the church, around the marketplace. And if we, for instance, build a Lord Manor here, they will like that a lot. And then this area will also be more desirable. Problem with that is it's quite expensive. And what I also want to do is if we look at our points, we need more kingdom points. And how can we get more kingdom points? Well, for instance, by upgrading our military. And that's the thing I want to focus on right now. We're going to upgrade this building. How will we do that? Well, that's the fun thing. You can do it any way you like. I always like to make a cute little gate where the people come into our village. So let's just do it like that. 
they will build a gate there and all the people coming in will go through that gate. That's always it just looks nice. I like that. We can also build extensions to our tower building. Which I really like. It's it's really a fun thing to do. So yeah, let's just do that. Build two of these. Then well probably one or two of these. Or we could also do is how big is this? Oh, that's nice. Hmm, maybe we should do that. That's the fun thing because well, we can just delete this and say, oh well, I would like this one to go there. Now, I do believe this looks nice. And then in the corner we can add maybe this piece. Yeah, that looks kind of nice. And then let's add this one and we'll add two of these so you get a nice little corner here and I'd like him there to be a small area where you can put horses or something I don't know it's just it's just your imagination you can do anything you like just use your imagination so for instance if I would just want to build this right there we can so I'm going to do that and I think that looks nice we get a nice building from that. Uh, there needs to be a door, I think. As people need to be able to get in, so we'll build a door right there. And we'll start construction. And with all these parts we are building, you can assign them a function. And the different functions you can assign are either... You can make them the dorms for the soldiers, so the soldiers won't be living in a house somewhere in town. They will just live right there. Or you can make it into a treasury which will be guarded by all these soldiers so that'll be very nice so I'm just going to let them build that and it will also increase our splendor I don't think yeah we can see plus 2.2 plus 2.2 plus 1.8 so let's see if we did enough I'm not sure but hopefully we did enough to get up to 15 and we can unlock all of these we'll see about that and otherwise I'll just expand it a little bit more. Right now, all our soldiers are completely trained. We'll do another easy mission. We'll accept it, send in all our troops. Let's hope they improve. Send them out on a mission. There they go. Nice. And let's hope they bring in a lot of money. Our wheat farm is ready. So let's tell the one guy we have left that he can be a wheat farmer right now. And probably should... Well, let's just assign this area already. There's not a lot of farming to do there yet. But soon enough there will be. And, well... Well, now it's, it's looking good. We have two extra people, so our farm is completely filled now. That's also very nice. And, yeah, that's working. Soon we should see the number of bread running up. And one of the things we were talking about a few episodes ago was this industry. Because, well, you can see the red zone. People don't want to live there. And we want to remove that because we want to expand our village to this whole area. So we need to start working on moving our clothing industry. Now, our industry now consists of one sheep farm, one tailor and one weaver. Well, this is the weaver, that the tailor. And I want to expand that because with all the people growth we are having, we need more clothes anyway. So I'm going to build two sheep farms, two weavers and two tailors. But we just need a free spot to do that, uh, which will actually look nice and be on the right uh, position. Now, there's a lot of production here, so why not add it somewhere here. So we can for instance somewhere add it somewhere here. Now let's check. Of course we need those sheep farms. We're not going to use that stone so we can just build these right here. One and two. Yes. Then two weavers huts. We'll put them across the street. Somewhere here. Well that's one and we don't have the money yet to accept and build it so well, let's do that. Now we can. Yes, that's one. And another weaver hut, because we really want two. Well, that looks nice. 
That's too perfect. A monk is requesting an audience. Well, that's always important. He wants tools. Well, since tools is what costs us money, I'm not going to give them away. So, yeah, that's not happening. Four people coming in, which is good. We can need th we can use them for this industry. Now all we need is two tailors' huts, but we also need uh, warehouses. And I think I'm going to build two warehouses. Why? Well, we're going to need a lot of clothes, especially if we go and reach like 500 people. So I want to use one warehouse just for the wool and the uh, clothes. And or, or the, the fabric, and the other one will be completely dedicated to to clothes, the real stuff we will be selling at our market, and that way we can build a really big stockpile, which is actually very useful. So that's why I'm going to build two warehouses, one right here next to the sheep farms, and we'll have to wait until we have the money, of course, which will be at some point. Don't you worry, we will be make enough money. Ooh, bad weather is coming. Well, we don't have too many berries. How much fish do we have? Oh, we have plenty of fish, which is really good. Bread is starting to come in, which is also nice, but we need a lot more berries. So perhaps one of the things we can do is expand our berry production. Now, in one of my other games, I've been experimenting with how many gathering huts you can place near a berry, near berries. And I didn't find the answer yet. I was still experimenting with that. And then someone helped me out. One of my loyal YouTube followers, Nicola. I'm not going to pronounce your last name because I'm Dutch and I don't think you are. And I'm just going to do that horribly wrong. And I don't want to offend you. Perhaps I'm already doing your first name wrong so I'm very sorry about that but thank you very much you pointed out to me that you can actually build three gathering huts around one uh, berry bush so that's very nice and well we're going to start building two around that now and hopefully they'll work out great and will give us all the berries we need especially in those harsh times we do have a few people left so I'm just going to already make them foragers because that's the most important thing right now. Now I can hear you think already weren't we working on the clothing industry so why make them foragers? Well with the bad weather coming and that is going to take quite some time that bad weather we're going to need all the berries we can because well in that period of time you won't be producing as many berries and, and grain etc so people can get unhappy quite quickly because they don't have enough food and if they don't have enough food they get angry and you don't want that because they will leave your village and I don't want anyone leaving my village so right now we're going to work on those berries and make sure that we produce enough that's why I prioritize these buildings they will start building them straight away there he goes put the people in and get collecting some extra berries and we're really going to need that Well, as you can see, this is coming along nicely. Two more people coming in. Very good. Two more mouths to feed, but well, we'll deal with that. I can show you already probably. Yeah, there's a lot of functions available now. As you can see, the Great Hall, but we already have a Great Hall, so that's not going to happen. We can make it the dorms, and if we do that, you can see there's seven people that can live there. So I'm going to make two dorms, because in the end I want ten soldiers. And I want them all to be able to live in the uh, near the uh, military tower uh, or the keep, and we can make the rest treasuries. And as you can see, it adds 150 capacity to my treasury, which is actually a nice number. So yeah, I like that. And yep, that's done. Well, I don't think there are more parts to do right now. Ooh, our gathering huts, wooden keep is done. New villagers arrived. Everything is going fast. Going to add those two villagers to the gathering hut. Let's get those berries up. So yeah, I, d I think this looks okay. I mean, it's not like one of the world wonders, but yeah. It it has more the shape 
of a military ground than it had before with just the tower. And of course, ooh, difficult, far, and the success probability is average. Well, that's not what we're going to do because, well, my soldiers will die then. And yeah, as you can see here, these guys are fully trained and strength 12 right now, but these two are wounded, so they need to heal. And well, I can tell you, soldiers do die. So don't get cocky and just think, oh, well, I'll just keep sending them on those missions because I want all that money coming in and that's all very nice. It is, but they can die. And then you have to start training them all over again. And since my soldiers are getting experience now, they really get stronger, which is very nice. And still we get a good loot, 540 gold coins, which means we can just buy an extra zone because of the, all the loot. We get bread, iron, polished, and even tools. So that's really nice. And I'm already going to buy an extra zone. I'm not going to buy this one yet. I want to make space. So if we go to the iron deposit and we start working there, we can also put down all the industries around it. I think that's important. So four more people coming in, which is also really nice. And yeah, a lot of promotions to do. I think we need to promote a few more people right here because they'll bring in more money. If you promote people to commoners they will start buying clothes etc now we are still working on our clothing industry and since this number is slowly dropping a little bit um, we don't need too many more people to actually uh, become commoners because we don't produce the clothes for that yet but since we are working on our clothing industry that's not really a problem we get four sheep and we probably I can probably just tell this one to pause. Uh, get out Willy Bolt, which is a very nice name, and we'll put Willy Bolt in there. We can hurt those sheep, that's fine. I'm also going to wait for this to be ready. So once it is, and we get people in there, they can extract the wool from here and from that sheep farm. And once we have collected all of that, I will destroy that sheep farm. The villagers arrived, which is nice. We can put one in here. Add four sheep. Our warehouse is ready. So I'm going to tell it to put in all the wool you can and all the cloth you can. And I'm going to assign two villagers to that already. Then I'm going to tell them to empty that one. Because I think that's... Oh, this one should be empty as well. So that's nice. And... Ooh. Our, both our weaver huts are also done. So what we can do now is start working on the tailors. So I'm going to build a tailor right here. I'm going to build one... Right there. That's nice. Two tailors. Now that should give a boost to our cloth production. And yeah, that one's empty. This is gone, so that's nice. Did they put it all in here? Remember my tip from last time? Don't destroy a building unless the goods are completely gone, because if you do, goods will disappear as well. So it's just the clothing right here now, which means we can remove two people from there. And we can actually um, make them go into this one. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to tell her to be a transporter. And that one as well. So now they are both in this building. Which is quite good. We need to build another warehouse, of course, for all our clothing. And I'm going to just set it up. Oh, that's close to the house, so that's not where we want it. Well, here you can see the effects of the weather. We will produce 50% less berries, weed and grapes. And fish will be increased, but we already have enough fish. So yeah, let's hope that with the extra berry production we created, everything will be fine. We have two weaver's huts not doing anything. We had one free guy, so yeah, let's do that. I think we should remove these two and put them in weaver's huts. And once they empty out that one, we'll get rid of this. 
And I don't think these buildings are ready yet, so we're not going to destroy this or the tailor's workshop yet. But we will at some point. We can add... well, let me check this one. They don't have an occupation or anything yet, so that's good. We can put one extra in the weaver hut. And I think... Yeah, since these are done as well, we should get Jacob out of there. Make him... Well, isn't he like a very skilled tailor yet? Oh, tailor level 6. See, there it is. And this one should also be a tailor, so all our tailors are completely filled. Yeah, and this one's empty as well, so we can just delete it. This one's empty as well, so we can just delete it. Which is all very nice. And all that needs to happen now is getting this warehouse to get people in. Well, we can use these to put in there. And then once that is done, they can really start working. And yeah. We have removed our clothing industry from here and probably the red zone, yeah, it's already quite a bit smaller, which is nice. We can already assign this whole area to be able to people to build a house there because we don't really mind. Do it like that. They're not going to build houses there right now, but at some point they might. There's an envoy. What does he want? Berries. Well, this time I'm not going to give away the berries since because of the bad weather we need them all. There's still a lumber camp there, so that should go at some point as well. There's a new military mission, we'll look into that later. But yeah, I'm not going to to give berries away in this bad weather, because we need every berry we can. This is looking really nice. There it is, so I'm just going to put it all on clothing. And I'm going to do two things. Let's keep this one open. There's new villagers in town. First of all, I'm going to get Winona and Lauren out of here. And these two... I will... Oh, pro probably if I make them... Yeah, I make them a transporter, they will get into here. And that's too bad. I'll just do it like this then. Sometimes, you have to be a bit creative. There's three in there, two in here. I'll just add them all to these. Let's hope that worked out. We'll see. It's not that important. I mean, it's nice if you get the skilled people in, but if you don't, well, don't leave a tear over that. That's fine. But as you can see, Edith, Lauren will get in here. So, yeah. That's looking good. Clothes are coming in. That all the clothing we have, we have 123, 22, 21. So you can see the number is dropping. So it's good we have expanded our clothing industry because we're going to need a lot of clothing. So I'm actually quite happy we did that. There's still two more pieces of clothing in there. So let's hope they can get that out quickly. Bring that in here. And then we are pretty much done. Yep, there it goes. There, she's walking with it. Four more people coming in, so we need to get jobs done, I guess. I think we have space for swords, so what we need to do is buy ourselves five swords, because when we do... Five. When we do, we can assign five more soldiers with a weapon. And we can start working on two missions at the same time. Also, we are making a lot of money. We'll buy another zone. And I will start working on this area. Now, it's quite easy. If you want to develop natural resources, you just click on them. And you hit edit. There it comes. You have a few options you can do. One of them, in this case the quarry, that's a must. You have to build them. If you don't, you can't really extract any resources. The rest is optional, so I can just build a small crane right there on those small white dots. It all looks really nice. It won't add extra people or anything. 
uh, and you can just add like carts etc and just make it look nice so I can add a little crane and a cart it just makes it looks nice but that's all optional what we can do now is hit start construction they will start building that and we can add in total four villagers two per tower and they will start extracting iron so these things are just optional and the rest you need and once that's done we will start to extract iron and then I will set up all the industries that go with that for now this is all okay I'm going to do a little bit of dezoning since well quite a lot of trees are gone actually and as you know if you watch this series I really like to keep my zones and my areas clear so you can really see where you can put up stuff and where not so yeah let's get rid of this so this will be just one big green zone well, trees are gone here for a big part, so that's nice. And, ooh, as you can see here, this guy really did a good job because our farmer are already working here. So, yeah, they cu cut rid of quite a few trees there. Now, well, that looks good. Probably have to find all my lumber mills soon and just a few in different spots so for instance this one well it's in a good spot right now especially if I zone this because they don't have to walk that far but quite soon I will move that one probably put it somewhere up here and, and just chop down all those trees I think that's a good place for it so yeah that's things that will happen in the future for now I think everything is rolling we can get rid of this building because it's completely empty and all is gone so let's delete it I don't think we have any free jobs at the moment. No. So that's fine. But once this is done, we need four people to start mining some stuff. So yeah, let's make them all four a miner. So as soon as that's done, they will go there and start mining. We have to put our mining stuff somewhere. So I'm going to build a warehouse here as well. To stock all the stuff they get from there. Anything else to promote? No, we're just going to promote a few people to from surf to from newcomer to surf. That's always nice. They will start building houses, which is great. They'll have a place to live, and newcomers don't have a place to live. So yeah, it's kind of nice if you give them a place to live. Well, we did what we intended to. We've moved our clothing industry and expanded it, which is nice. We expanded our berry industry, so our economy is getting stronger. Problem is, because of the bad weather, we won't be selling any berries or anything, but that's fine. Once the bad weather is gone, we will start selling them again. We've bought quite a few tools. We don't have to right now, because we have plenty now, so that will go away, and then we make quite a bit of money. We are really producing bread at the moment, so I think we are looking strong. We just have to get past this bad weather. And then everything will be very nice. So I'm going to pause the game right here. Going to give you a view of the dark clouds hanging over the city. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. That will be a big help. And that way I know you, you like the videos and, and you support me in that way. And of course, I hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you very much. Bye bye.